Hello, welcome to my studio. Uh, my name is Sarah Hickey. I'm a visual artist based in Brisbane. I was born in Brisbane, it's my home. Uh, and I'm thrilled to be a finalist in the Brisbane Portrait Prize. I just thought I'd talk to you about my entry in this year's competition. Uh, it's a self-portrait um, and it's it was made out of being rejected from the Brisbane Portrait Prize last year. So the devastation that I felt uh, as all artists do at some stages in their career and the sense of rejection inspired me to paint this piece, which is um, the artist self-portrait, growing bigger, growing stronger, taking up space. And so it, it was really the idea of taking up space uh, and becoming almost like a sumo wrestler uh, with a, um, a garment of trinkets and um, medals from previous battles won and lost in the art journey. And so to be accepted as a finalist this year is so wonderful and a full circle moment. And for me, um, it's a call for artists to continue to keep painting. So whilst it's wonderful to be a finalist this year, to not take it all so seriously and the making process being the most important thing. I think self-portraits are something that artists have done for centuries and it's a point of reflection. It's a chance to think about our journeys as people and as artists and the changing shape of who we are. It's also got a self-portrait that is upside down, which reminds me a little bit of a playing card, the Queen of Hearts. It's a severed uh, head from a previous self-portrait and that is always the, the change and the growth that we have as human beings and, and as artists. It's, it's growing out of our old skins and uh, growing bigger and stronger. I like to work on large surfaces. I always say I'm a frustrated muralist. I think there's something about uh, the physicality of painting a large surface. It's really involved and uh, I love the dynamics of moving back and forwards into that space. I like to work with oil paints and I really love the thick buttery texture of oil paints. I usually work over previous artworks so I, I turn them upside down and uh, continue to paint over the top. For me that's a uh, story of time and so a work that I might have completed in my mind's eye three years ago could be um, uh, painted again with some of that coming through and it's that constant work in progress which has some lovely connections to being human, being an artist and um, the constant evolution of that whole idea. I love colour. For me it's a call, call to emotion and uh, potentially celebration and joy. Um, I think a lot of ancient cultures and cultures, indigenous cultures, use it um, as a way of connecting to spirit and uh, life. I think it represents that. I also love that colour can be revolutionary and quite um, rebellious. <laughs> so. Um, it's about stepping out and standing out and claiming that sense of power and I just, I love it. I love this revolution of women that uh, the advanced style movement etc that are really reclaiming the power of colour. 
artists that inspire me. Hello, Frida Kahlo. <laughs> uh, I think Frida really inhabited the female artist and I think her um, inhabiting that space continues to live on even beyond her artwork and that is a constant source of inspiration. Uh, beautiful Australian artist, Lucy Cullerton. Uh, wow, love her approach to the beautiful textural nature of oil paints. Uh, there's so much beauty and generosity in her work. I love it. I have an emotional reaction to it. Um, Matisse, some of the big, the big wigs. <laughs> Uh, the big blokes in the history of art loved his sense of composition and um, uh, the, the ability to say done and walk away and it's finished. Um, pattern, colour, texture, materials, textiles uh, really excite me from all around the world and um, fashion I love and there's something about that donning an outfit or a persona uh, that inspires me and in, in my work. So very, very happy to be involved in this competition this year. It means a lot to me being my hometown and to be amongst some wonderful artists who I admire uh, and to be part of that community and also hoping that it can be something that encourages other artists to think if you got rejected one year, you're not going to necessarily get rejected the next year, that it, uh, that we're all artists and, and keep making, keep, keep producing.